Hey all, this is Val here with another Epic 7 video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Zeno, an ice mage. Ooh, and apparently he's a fisherman because he summons a giant fish for his ult. But anyway, all right. So here we go. So this guy is free to farm. I don't think he's, is he still up? I think he's still up. I think if, if you haven't farmed him out yet, you know, uh, do it. it, it it's worth, it's a free five star. I mean, come on, man. It's free five star, free five star. All right, let's get right into it. Let's get right into Zeno, Mr. Ice Mage. Skill one, Black Thorn. Acquire one soul. Attacks with thorns with a 25% chance to stun for one turn. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. So you want to build him health, right? You want to get that health in there. Uh, his effect chance goes to a maximum of a 35% chance to stun. Eh, don't count on it. Don't, just don't, no. Just, just don't, do not count on that. All right, his passive, Star's Armor, increases defense and damage of Ancient Beasts by 5% when the enemy uses a non-attack skill. Can stack up to 10 times. So Ancient Beast is his ult. Basically what this is saying, if you're fighting a Diane and she's, you know, she's doing her buff thing, every time she does that, uh, his Ancient Beast is going to get 5% damage and increase defense by 5% every single time. This goes to a max of 8% when you fully skill it. And it stacks up to 10 times when you can get 80% damage in defense. Good God almighty. Yikes. That is a lot. That is a lot. I mean, she, he's he's there to deal with, like, Diane. Um, especially when they run, like, Diane and Helica teams. Like, this guy would... That, that team wouldn't have such a good time. Not, not a good time at all. All right, skill three, Ancient Beast. Acquire two souls, and by default, on a four-turn cooldown. Well, it's always going to be on a four-turn cooldown. All right. Summons an Ancient Beast to attack all enemies with a 55% chance to silence for one turn and inflict bleeding for two turns. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. Now, this says it increases defense. Increases defense and damage of Ancient Beast, but you don't pick up any defense. What, 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 where's the defense? I don't wait okay some of the comments below explain to me what defense does it increase it doesn't ignore defense huh i don't know if you know please let me know all right um the soul burn effect for 20 souls is grants an extra turn uh the max maximum effect chance at 100 at a four skill four is going to be 70 percent so you have a 70% chance to silence and afflict bleeding for two turns. One turn of silence, two turns bleeding. So that means if you're fighting an Angelica Diane, they're probably going to go before this guy. So he's going to have the, uh, he's going to have, uh, what, that's two. I wonder is it per buff though. Use a non, okay, only when they use a non-attack skill. So Diane will likely use one, uh, Angelica will use one. So you're only going to get 10% bonus damage. Uh, if they do some other shenanigans like buffing someone, like maybe an attack buff, like say they got a silk, so that's going to be 15%, or at max, it's going to be that, so that's three, three non-attack skills at max skill, which would be eight, so 24% increase to the damage here. I don't know, still, we still don't know what defense it's increasing. So how do you use this guy? What's the best way to use him? Obviously, this is an arena, right? I, you're not going to be silence, silencing a boss. However, 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 you could use him in Waverun. Here's why. Here's why. Because the bleeding is for two turns. The bleeding is for two turns. That you're, You've got two debuffs on him by default. Plus, I run Requiem, who also has two debuffs. So you could likely use him in Waverun. He is water. You're not going to be able to silence the boss, though. I think the boss is immune to silence. So really, he only has the one bleeding buff. But you still could. If you need a debuffer, there is that. I believe he puts on two bleeds, though. I think. I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But you could use him in Wavern if you need another unit, right? It's on a four-turn cooldown, though, and if you're on auto and he uses it right before the boss, you're kind of screwed, right? Yeah, you are kind of screwed. 
But, I mean, if you're desperate, you could. I mean, he's free, right? If you're desperate, you could use him there. There's probably better options than, like, Clarissa or something like that. Because Clarissa also has bleed and she has armor break on skill one. Anyway, anyway, enough about that. Uh, let's take a look at my stats. Now, obviously, I'm not done with them yet. You can see that I still have a lot to go. The reason why he's like this is because I don't really have a lot of plans to use him. I really don't. I honestly don't. I, I see where I could use him in uh, PvP, maybe even in Guild Wars. But we'll see. We'll see. Like, maybe I'll see him in Guild Wars. Maybe. Maybe. Here's the stats. Here's the gear. If I'm going too fast, just go ahead and pause the video and check it out. All right, and that is him. Obviously, I'm not very far with him, so I don't have a lot of his expressions. I mean, it's... Wow, he actually closes his big mouth, right? I like the upset. I think the upset fits just the character design, right? I mean, this looks maniacal. Maniacal? Mani maniacal? You know, crazy. This one looks just like this crazy, powerful, mad. Yeah, I like this one. It fits the character design, I think. We'll have to see the other ones as we unlock it. Um, here's what I'm using. This is just because right now, I'm just having them carrying it. Because I figure whoever I'm going to bring them with, like if I use them in Guild Wars, it might be a cleave. So we want that 10 souls at the beginning. Uh, other options that you could likely use, I mean, I don't know really. Like You could do uh, Kaldara, right? Because he does have the the debuffs, um, and likely if you're running him in Guild Wars, there's going to be other debuffs, so you're always going to be doing increased damage. Um, I don't know. I mean, I mm, you could use this, but I mean, mm, you could, you could. I mean, Sarah Ren is good. Like, and again, if you're going to be running him in Wavern, this could actually be very beneficial to have. Right? This gives you more debuffs that you could possibly apply to the uh the waiver but i think he has his uses i just gotta figure out where and how to use him because i mean he was free right he was free so i want to build him and use him somewhere i still know where that somewhere is that's why the gear isn't like leveled that's why i'm still not 100 percent sure on the artifact but i do see where he can be useful i can see good comps for him in my head for guild wars for Arena, I'm not so sure. I'm really not sure in Arena. Uh, for Wavern, I can see a build that would be beneficial in Wavern. But, I mean, he, he he's not as bad as some would have you think. I think he is okay. It's just building him properly, using the correct team around him, and executing whatever strategy that you have planned. But that's really it for him. I mean, I don't know. I want to. My gut tells me he's more PvP than PvE. And if you do use him in PvE, really the only place is Wavern, and then just because of the debuffs, right? And then you would probably want to use Sarah Ren on him. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you think? You know, leave it down in the comments below. Where do you think this guy is best usable, and what build do you think is best for him? Um, we're gonna wrap the video up here. It's just a quick little review of him. I think he's decent Really is decent. I just Because of the other units I have I'm just trying to think of how he would best be used I still think it'd be PvP With even with Sarah Ren, I think he's still usable there and then Ah, but you really if you're gonna do, if you're gonna cleave you really want that you want the book You really want the book, but if you're not gonna cleave Sarah Ren would still work there and it would work in waiver I think he's okay. I mean, he's not the best. There's others that can do the job better. Um, but he, he's, he's all right. He's all right. All right, guys. Well, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, hit that notification button. Uh, so that way you know when I have new videos available. As always, thank you all for watching. And all you dudes and dudettes out there, stay frosty.